What do you think, Particio? What do we do with this land? What do you mean, what? There ain't Scratch here. That's exactly why I'm asking, little chickadee. It's a blank slate. It can be whatever we make of it. Long as we got the skill and gumption, anyhow. Wow, Pops. You sure got away with words. I know, son. Swipe that line if you want. No, I wouldn't do that. Even ain't right. Real merchant doesn't filch what they want. And they buy it. That's my boy. Fine words. You do me proud. Oh, oh, I had an idea. If it was up to me, I'd split this whole plot with all our friends. And that way, we could all settle it together. <laughs> I like how you think, Chickadee. That'd make everyone happier than hens in a coop. Yeah! Smart, huh? <laughs> a fine idea. But we can't forget our business interests here. This land is an asset. We bought the deed to it fair and square from its former owner. If we want to divvy it up, Particio, we can't just give it away for free. Aw, come on now, Mr. Rock. No need to be stingy. We're here because we heard there was silver to be found in these hills. Rock and I pooled our money and bought the rights to these lands. That we did. Rumor was, you couldn't take a step without tripping over silver ore. <laughs> this is no time to be ooing and on, Chickadee. You want to be a merchant too, right? Then take these leaves and go buy us some silver. Gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. A merchant cultivates a discerning eye through knowledge and experience. That means hands-on training is more precious than gold. Yes, sir, Mr. Rock. I'll go buy some silver then. Look at split. Good boy. Uh, negotiate a good price and show us your business acumen. Thank you kindly. 
Hey there, Particio. Managed to buy any silver? Sure did! Here! This is it, right? Give it here. Mm. Whoa, now! This is some fine quality ore. I bet we can earn a bundle off this. Good work, son. Bundle of what? Uh, yeah! We sold off all but a roof over our head to start this business. It's a gamble, that's for sure. Hmm, but one well worth it. The global economy is beginning to adopt a standardized silver leaf to serve as the basis for commerce. We're entering the age of silver, mark my words. We're well positioned to earn a fortune. Right, we rise and shine early tomorrow to get digging for silver. Woohoo! I can't wait to get started, pups! We're gonna strike it rich, Chickadee. Today's haul, freshly plucked from the saw, 100% pure high quality ore. Rumors about the quality of this town's silver drew me here to make a deal. But what real guarantee can a youngling like you offer me on its value? Hey, looks can be deceiving, my fine friend. I've been doing this for eight years now, and I know my stuff. Purity is the only means by which you can assess silver's ore quality. Take a look at the sheen on this rock. See the luster? That sparkle? Why, this is the finest you'll find in the land. It's even used in old King Dudley's crown. Impressive. Bidding starts at 10,000 leaves. Let me hear some numbers, folks. 400,000 leaves. 800,000. One million six hundred thousand! Ah, one million eight hundred thousand leaves. We've got 1.8. Any other bidders? Anyone? Sold for one million eight hundred thousand leaves. Much appreciated, friend. Go on, take it. You won't regret this. I guarantee! Hmm. That is indeed high quality silver. I hear these merchants built the silver operation themselves. In just eight years, they turned this town into one of the continent's most plentiful sources of silver. That youngling's got potential. He possesses a discerning eye. But more than that, he's deft at reading people's hearts. He'll be a fine merchant one day. He's only 16, too. Soon he'll be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> On to our next nugget! Let's get the bidding started!
Hey there, Pops. I sold a bundle today, like always. That's my boy. Good work. <laughs> You've grown since we settled here. The town has, too. We're only gonna keep on growing, Pops. You bet. This town's gonna be something. Just gotta keep on digging up more silver and making a killing. And of course, use the profits to do right by everyone in town. You betcha, Pops. We'll do it together. Particio! We've got trouble. That gang's stirring up mischief at the mine again. Back, huh? Go on ahead, I'll catch up. Protecting our minds vital, but keep the violence to a minimum, you hear me? That's a deal I can't make, Pops. I'm gonna go arouse the town, gather a posse, whoever's willing to come. Hey! Just don't do anything risky, you hear? Dang, boy, he's already gone. ourselves a showdown. Here goes. Take this. I'm just getting walked. <laughs> Bring it on! I'm just... Oh, snap! Bring it on! Take this! All in a day's work!
Howdy there, friend. Here goes. It's your shift now, friend. Sorry about that. I'm just getting one. Maybe next time. Seems like you're all ready and raring to go. You look just as rare as any of us, boss. You bet I am. That lousy gang's really got my hackles up. The more we have, the more they try and take away. Those ruffians got the nose for coin and nothing else. They're here to take what we worked hard to make, so no holding back. Yeah, they're good for nothing thieves. Let's get them good, boss. New face, ain't you? I'm counting on you to watch our backs. Take this. Think of it as a down payment. Ooh, the boss is doling it out again. You'd really give corn to a stranger you just met, Particio? Of course I would. Folk gotta help each other out if they want to make it in this world. Strange to think the Wild Stallion's got a soft side. Barter in her bruising, no one can beat Particio the Wild Stallion. Too quick by half to let go of his leaves, though. Quiet back there. Stop the muttering. Trouble brewing in the ranks, bucko. I knew you'd show up, Gif. Huh. Kind of you to worry about my posse. <laughs> Hand over your coin. You're making a tidy profit, aren't you? We do honest work in our town, and we get honest pay for it. That's why it gets my goat that you scoundrels think you can waltz in here and steal what we shed sweat and blood for. Why not try some honest work for a change? It feels good. Yeah! Give up being rascals and work like the rest of us! <laughs> Laborers, all the same. Go on, boys, take them down! This world's about taking, and we're gonna be the takers! Yeah! <sighs> that rat. He needs someone to cool him down. Listen up, fellas. We can't let this bunch of scoundrels beat us. Double pay for anyone who distinguishes themselves. Let's get to work. That's our boss. Generous as always. Come on! Let's get him! Let's have ourselves a showdown. Here 
goes. It's your shift now, friend. I'm just getting warmed up. Bring it on. I'm just getting warmed up. All in a day's work. Not so tough after all, huh? Damn! Don't think you'll get away with this. <laughs> right, right. None of that cliche hogwash now. <laughs> Retreat! We're getting out of here! Huh! And stay gone, you lily-livered lowlives! We did it, boss! Yeah! What a victory! Y'all did good, fellas! So what do y'all say we go and have ourselves a celebration? I say, let's make it a big one! You hear that, everyone? Food and drinks on Particio! Woo! That's our boss! Generous as always! Uh, hold your horses. I didn't say nothing about buying anyone. Come on, boss. Hurry it up. Hey, hey I said it. You're what? I think my ears are deceiving me. Say that again, Rock. <sighs> I'm leaving town. For good. That joke ain't funny, partner. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? Capitalism is a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Fortune has favored us, and a high tide has graced our town. However... The tides are always changing, Pap. What about our people? The ones who followed us here? I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Hey, partner, wait! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. I think I ate more than I could stomach. <sighs> this town's gonna get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. Oh, 
of Mr. Rock. Heading home early today, huh? <sighs> Particio, may I have a word with you? Particio, I'm leaving this town. Huh? I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. Silver is being mined worldwide now, and it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade and traveling to the eastern continent. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Mr. Rock. The East is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? It is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived from steam to provide unprecedented power. We're entering the age of steam, Particio. I'm certain of it. <laughs> Look at yourself, Mariana. You'll see eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Particio, I want you to come with me. I want your talent, your drive, your charisma. You possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equal. What do you say? Will you leave this town behind and join me on an exciting new venture? Together we can amass a fortune that would be the envy of the world. Oh, wow, Mr. Rock. You're always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. But I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Articio, that sparkle in your eye tells me what's really in your heart. Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. <sighs> I see your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. It saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Particio. Mr. Rock.
Here you go, Pops. My special beef and veggie stir-fry surprise. Oh, boy. <laughs> Smells delicious. Hang on, Particio. There's no beef in here. So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir-fry surprise, now would you? I can when we're broke. We can't afford beef. So, fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? <sighs> Times are tough, huh? We dig and dig, pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. That contract I signed. Biggest mistake I ever made. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. I can't believe I didn't notice that fine print when I signed the darn thing. That rotten landowner let us do all the hard work building this place up and then snatched the whole thing back once the silver started taking off. Since then, all the profits from the silver we mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit, I drove myself into the sick bed. Eat my share, Pops. Merchant's health is the seed capital, and you need all you can get. Fine words. When'd you get so eloquent, Chickadee? <coughs> Darn it, we're out of medicine, too. Uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. I'm sorry, son. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. Thank you kindly. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. I gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Hey, boss. You got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, I, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. The landowner's laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... Harry! That's my crust! Give it back! Shut up! I'm taking it! I've got mouths to feed too! That's enough. Here. I'll split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss, I... <sighs> Damn. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault you're suffering. If only I could make things better. If only I could look out for you. 
never imagined it'd end up like this. I never knew what a devil poverty was or how much pain it could bring. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out some to do for work. Boss, it's not your fault. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Giff, as if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Giff? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Ore prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah! We're all struggling just to eat! Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemonade. You... you... Though, uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Listen up, bucko. Next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger cut. Hey, Pops. Uh, I'm back. <coughs> Something happened? I've never seen you look so dispirited. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, Particio. I won't pretend to know what's got you down, but here's a word of advice. Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. <sighs> you'll never lose if you never try, son. But you'll never win either. Huh. That settles it. I'll be back in two shakes of a cates, Whisker Pops. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Kid's face lit up like a miner's lantern. <sighs> it's 
it's all over for us. Uh, they're gonna squeeze us until we're dry as the desert sand. Fellas, listen up. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. Now, well, I finally understood. That dastard landowner, well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toils. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. That's why we gotta take it back, and our lives with it. I'm with you, boss. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that Snake Gifts place. Yeah! ourselves a showdown. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm just... Oh. I'm 
just getting warmed up. <laughs> nice. Bring it on. Oh. Take this. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> oh, nice. Maybe next time. Bring it on. <laughs> Here goes. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> All, right. All in a day's work.
Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Who <laughs> boy? Maybe next time. Did you see the tears on that fool's face earlier? <laughs> you said it, Giff. Excuse me, Gif. Huh? Look who it is. I'm moved. I am. Came to give me what you owe me early? Huh. <laughs> Something like that. Here. A coin made from our silver. One measly leaf? You trying to insult me? You're the one insulting it, you rotten scoundrel. Every fortune's made from a pile of these. The little guys. Treat one with contempt and you'll lose them all. That goes for money and for people. What a joke. We've made up our minds, Gif. We're taking our town back. You? A third-rate merchant from the sticks? Ha! You're just as stupid as your father. What did you say? The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. That bit of fine print wasn't even in the original contract. The landowner slipped it in at a later date, all quiet-like. Your gullible idiot of a father never even noticed. Thanks to you, we've lived fat off the hog. Earned ourselves a mine and a bunch of fool miners for next to nothing. <laughs> you, you're dirty through and through. You tricked my pops and stole everything from us. Yeah, well, too bad. This world, see? It's made so that people with smarts, like me, we win. <laughs> You've done it. You really, really got my coat. Get ready, Gift. Cause we're taking our town back from your dirty mitts. Let's tussle, Gif. Here goes. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> I ain't one for holding back. Here goes. Just 
I'm just getting warmed up. Bring it on. I'll pound you into lemonade! <laughs> Bring it on. You call for help? Fine by me. I'll take you all on. Here goes. <laughs> Yeehaw! Bring it on. I'll pound you into lemonade! Bring it on! Yeah! Good effort! I'm poor! Move on! Rotten little! Underestimate me. Huh? I got more grit than I can handle. Take this. Ah! I'm just getting warmed up. Uh? Arrow of fortune. Gotcha. All in a day's work. Well now, made your peace. Wait! Spare my life! If it's money you want, I got it! Loads of it! See? Whoa there, silver. So this is where you've been hiding all the coin you swiped from us. We can rebuild our town with this. You won't blame me, right? I was just following orders. That's so. Then fetch your boss. I'd like to have a word. I, I can't do that. No one's ever met him. Huh. Come to think of it. Pop said he handled the contract and all the negotiations by post. Neither me nor Pops ever had a face-to-face. -face. So, Giff, who is this landowner anyway? You can't make me talk! It'll be my hide if I do! Too bad for you. It'll be your hide if you don't. <laughs> Rock Brilliant, the tycoon himself. What? Uh, Mr. Rock, but, but why? The man's got a ruthless mind for business. This was his plan all along. You're lying. This has to be some mistake. 
I'm sure of it. Mr. Rock could never do that to us. He wouldn't. the store shelves were so well stocked. Life's returning to our little town. Hey, Greenhorn. Hurry up and move this material. Yes, sir! We're gonna work you hard until you pay off your debt, you hear? Excuse me, Mr. Particio, sir. Hey, Pops, you fine to be walking around? Yeah, thanks to you. I'm too busy to be dead. <laughs> I'm distributing the wealth stolen from us back to the townsfolk. And life's starting to come back to us. Sure is. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I made arrangements to get the materials you want. Woo! You're a lifesaver. Hey, Articio. Can we have a talk? Uh-huh. We're talking now, ain't we? Just be quiet and follow me for a spell, will you? It's been 16 years since we settled here. We started from nothing and had our fair share of ups and downs. Yeah, you could say that again. Pops... Mr. Rock, he... Uh... I don't give a hoot about Rock no more, son. He left us in the lurch. I don't ever want to see his face again. Listen, I want you to look to the horizon. You've got a bright future ahead of you. You're gonna be something if I reckon right. Something too big for this little town to contain, even if it wanted to. Pops? Don't worry about us anymore. We can get along just fine without you. Boss! Particio! Boss! You've got too much potential for our little town. It'd just go to waste here. That's why I want you to hit that dusty trail already. Get along, little chickadee. Uh, this town's my home. I grew up here. But to be honest, as the day is long, I've wanted to see the world for a while now. Ever since Mr. Rock took off and left us. I don't regret staying here, not for an instant. But now, well, I know how painful poverty can be. Boss. We managed to weather our troubles here, even if just barely. But somewhere out there, I know there's folks suffering just as much as we did, or worse. I want to do what I can for them. Use my talents to make the world a better place. 
Hmm. Being a merchant ain't just about making bundles of leaves. It's the reason why that matters. I'm proud of you, son. Pops. You're no chickadee any longer. You're a full-fledged, bona fide merchant. Go on. Help others like you helped us. Bring prosperity to all those troubled folks out there. And show up that rock feller while you're at it. Get along now, Particio. We'll see to the town while you're gone. Yeah! We'll keep it safe and sound. Don't worry about us, boss. Boss, take care out there. Fellas, if you all say so, I got no choice now, do I? I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. Divvy up the earnings. 